Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. In just a couple of hours, President Biden will be delivering his second State of the Union address and his first since Republicans took the House majority. Republicans are already issuing a rebuttal or a prebuttal, as you may call it, speaking against the president's speech before it's delivered. They're demanding the president answer for what they say are his, quote, failed policies. ABC's Ike Ajachi tells us what topics the president is expected to talk about tonight. President Biden reviewing and practicing his speech just hours before he delivers his second State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress and the American people. He's going to talk about uh, the accomplishment that he's made the last two years. He's going to talk about how the wages are up, how inflation is finally starting to cool the last six months. He's going to talk about the record jobs that we have been able to create. Look for the president to highlight his policy wins over the past year. Small businesses being created, wages going up, more breathing room for folks. The president also expected to tout the record job creation since he was elected and the lowest unemployment rate in more than 50 years. Despite accentuating the positives, Biden will also acknowledge that more work needs to be done. Republicans delivering a pre ahead of Biden's speech, calling on the president to accept blame for what they call his failed policies. The state of our union is struggling under the weight of President Biden's far-left extremist agenda. Among the Democrats and Republicans will be some invited guests, the family of Tyree Nichols, George Floyd, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown, all looking for reforms in law enforcement following the deaths of their loved ones at the hand of police officers. We can't have another child um, dying at the hands of the police officers. Biden's address comes as the House of Representatives, led by Republicans, is threatening to not raise the nation's debt limit, which could result in a government shutdown. That coupled with growing tensions with China after the U.S. shot down a suspected spy balloon. Following the president's speech tonight, newly elected Arkansas governor and former White House press secretary for Donald Trump, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, will be delivering the Republican response. Ike Ajaji, ABC News, Capitol Hill. You can watch the State of the Union right here on Local News 8 at 7 p.m. You can also find it on our website or on our app.